Good evening. Thank you for joining us for watching WHNT News 19 5. I'm Greg Screws. And I'm Siobhan Bryan. A preliminary environmental investigation found high levels of manufacturing chemicals on a property that was home to generations of Decatur City Middle School students. And the contaminated property is where the Aquadome is located. And the 40 acre property had served as a landfill from the mid 40s until 1963. Our investigative team is looking at this major development from all angles. So Chelsea Brensel joins us in the newsroom. So Chelsea, what prompted the study? The city of Decatur asked 3M for the investigation back in July, and today Decatur officials are very quiet following the release of the 346-page report. The Decatur City School Superintendent declined to comment, citing unspecified ongoing litigation. 3M hired GHG services to complete the environmental investigation. State records indicate the report was submitted to the Alabama Department of Environmental Management last week. The preliminary investigation report says investigators found perfluorinated chemicals, PFOA, and PFOS and PFBS and PFHS on the site. PFOA and PFOS chemicals were produced by 3M to make products like Teflon and Scotchgard. The company stopped making those two chemicals in the early 2000s. The other chemicals found on the Brookhaven property are similar replacement versions. According to the report, surface water and soil samples were conducted on July 31st and August 1st. A proposal to continue investigating the site was included. It recommends that additional soil and groundwater Water monitoring be conducted. It estimates that it could take 120 days to complete and that findings would become available approximately 30 days after receipt of the final lab analysis reports. The environmental watchdog group Tennessee Riverkeeper, which is suing 3M, released a statement. Founder David Whiteside says in part, quote, preliminary scientific results from the Brookhaven landfill prove that the good people of Alabama have worsening problems regarding short chain PFAS alternatives, chemicals in our soil and water. Tennessee Riverkeeper team of experts is still analyzing the extensive report. Our initial review causes us significant concern due to soil and water samples that contain both long chain and short chain PFOS chemicals, a known threat to human health, end quote. This is a lengthy and complex report. A spokesperson for 3M tells us they are working on a response to our questions. You can find more about the recommendations and responses on WHNT.com. And of course, you can count on our team to continue digging for more information to figure out what this means for public health and the environment. In the newsroom, Chelsea Brensel, WHNT News 19.